So basically, we were thinking that we could make some uh, sense of uh, the uh, temporal characteristic of uh, the data that we have. Um, basically, perhaps even neglecting the spatial properties, basically, we were interested if uh, the temporal properties of fMRI time series will allow us to uh, make groups of clusters that are uh, somehow localized in space. Uh, of course, yeah, the first idea that came to our mind was uh, k-means clustering, uh, but then there was the question what the measure should be used. And after some debate, we decided that information radius measure, which is a measure for, uh, for um, the, basically the distance, defining the distance between two different probability distributions, uh, is the well, valid measure for uh, this purpose. Uh, basically, uh, the general idea about this uh, slide is uh, uh, a conversion of time series into um, probability distributions. And uh, uh, in, that, in that way, that in the end, we get probability distributions that are basically the, the entire clustering procedure emphasizes similar shape over the similar amplitude. So if we have some pattern far away from uh, some particular time series in a, uh, amplitude, but it's still similar in the shape, it will be in the same cluster. Actually, before, uh, previously, this measure was applied to clustering um, time series taken from electrophysiological data, and uh, there was um, not really long ago paper, uh, submitted paper to the uh, neural networks by Baker et al. from our group. Uh, what you see here is the uh, numerous experiments uh, that are done uh, on a microelectrode array chip. Basically, please take a look at the pane uh, that is here below. Uh, each of these small boxes represents an experiment, and each of the black boxes is a stimulation electrode, uh, and the rest of the boxes are measurement electrodes. And based on this measurement, we apply this information radius measure to cluster this time series. And these are characteristic patterns that are basically characteristic for, this, uh, for each of these clusters. Uh, and as we see here, uh, basically, uh, the uh, the top row is a stimulation in supergranular layer, here's the granular layer, and the bottom row is infragranular. But in general, the patterns of activity are localized according to layers and columns of the uh, cortex. Uh, so this is some of the sensory cortex of red brain. Basically, this, this is of course a very different scale from what we were speaking about so far. It's uh, not a human brain first, and this is the uh, microscopic and mesoscopic scale rather than macroscopic scale. But we were thinking that, well, okay, this is a, a physiological data and bold response is also a physiological data and the time series uh, can be compared in a similar way. Uh, and we applied the same measure to basically all the time series within the gray matter mass that we had uh, in our challenge data set. Uh, what we got in the end was a uh, thing like this which is, uh, well, sort of specially localized in a way. You can see probably some patterns that are, well, basically the red pattern, which is scattered across the temporal cortex and purple uh, things are mostly here. But at the same time, the sign pattern is scattered all across the brain. And I'm thinking, why could it be so messy? So, uh, but then, um, at the same time, we realized that it would make a perfect sense because uh, the brain is maintaining long-range connections that are um, basically the activity patterns can be uh, very similar acro across long ranges and it doesn't mean that uh, the same pattern should be localized in the same particular space uh, so basically this picture captures more temporal dynamics rather than uh, structural localization patterns and then we're thinking that uh, to improve this approach uh, to basically make these clusters contiguous, we could probably use some spatial constraints. But so far we, we don't really have a clear idea about that, so if you have any suggestions, please let us know. So, to conclude, this is uh, uh, the group, this is our group who participated in this effort, and uh, I would like to thank you for the attention.